to uh, remove it from the structure. One person it's died. Uh, quite an unfortunate event, and we are working with um, our colleagues in the police department as we complete this investigation for this, this very significant and um, catastrophic evening for the family. We are also trying to ensure that we have address all other searches in every part of this building. It's important for us to ensure that we have done with every degree of effort we can uh, a complete search and ensure that we have uh, addressed all the questions that are being addressed regarding this fire. Some of the questions that we had recently was this building inspected and yes I have, uh, I have spoke with, in a collaborative nature, working with our, uh, our colleagues at the, the building department, and they have ensured me and given me a list of the recent inspections, which uh, the last one was just three days ago. So we have no reason to believe that um, this building was not following every proper procedure within the, the permitting process in the city. Uh, with that, though, I would like to uh, introduce Honorable Mayor Hancock. There he is. I would like to say yeah. a couple words. Thank you, Captain Pixley. Um, I received um, yeah. uh, he's some be, um, calls. While he's going to be. He's a little out of, on fire himself for these days. Which gave me a very clear indication that this was not um, a run-of-the-mill kind of uh, situation in our city, and, and we immediately returned back to Denver and came on site to see this uh, devastating situation behind us. Let me start by uh, first uh, saying that this was a very um, well-coordinated response by our first responders. They did a tremendous job in getting to the scene. This was a three-alarm fire, and when, by the time I arrived, the fire had been um, contained, uh, put out, and they were we were beginning to look at the situation, kind of to begin the process of um, trying to figure out what has happened.